way. It's like, you, I love you. Now let me play you some beautiful music, you know? So there's this feeling like um, they're going to do whatever they want and, and assert their own will and not worry about how it's being understood or whatever. And yet the wonderful thing about that is that it speaks to people. Floorball, you used this stick and blade to not fight with. It's a sport you use this stick and a blade to kick around a ball and not look too foolish doing so. So in today's video, could we design and through the print the blade and use it as a useful and practical through the print to adapt into our daily lives? You see, I'm not sure if I should do a long tutorial or just present to you what I have done, but I know a lot of people want the long tutorial exactly how to do every single step, but I also know a lot of people hate it. But also future Simon might need to remind himself of how he did this, so... You see, the key to this object is going to be to import these two pictures, one from the side of the blade and one from the top of the blade, and you do the outline, you do, you do the sketch of that picture, of those two pictures, you do from the top as well, and where those two extrusions meet, you will have the intersection that makes the curvature of the blade. So, good job, you are almost complete. I then continued to make the holder for the stick, and once again I used the, um, I used the picture we imported before, to guide me where I should put the holes of the of the blade as you can see here you also dent this entire thing to make the edge that will catch the ball when you when you dribble I then added my name and uh, and on the other side we have I piled on a whole lot of fillets and that is the end result that's how you make a blade PLA, hips, nylon, PTG, any of these filaments should be able to do the job. Which one would do it better? I don't think hips will do a good job because that's kind of brittle. PLA, same thing, I don't think that's the best option. So I'm, I'm struggling to choose between nylon and PTG. So this is one of the newer printers of my arsenal, it's the uh, M300 from Sortrax, it should do a very good job, I've loaded up with some black uh, PETG and hopefully that's going to be flexible enough, that's what I'm looking for, it's, uh, it's the flexibility in the material to take, take the shocks and, and impacts uh, that occurs during a floorball game, you know, at least when I play. Looks just like the real deal, the Sortrax did an amazing job, got the same weight as one of the original ones. 40% infill, you really, you really can't tune the settings in the Sortrax software, you pick the filament and the software does the rest, but with some cleanup, use the torch and this is what you'll get.
this point we had only played a few minutes and this happened. No one, no one is gonna comment about that save. This was surprising. This was something I didn't expect. PTG has been has been a filament I have associated of being more tough and flexible than PLA. And heck, look at this sword tracks ratings. Elasticity and impact strength are, are both fairly high numbers. And still this $150 roll of PTG shatters like glass. It's smacked against the bar, so I want to give it a second shot and this is what happened. You could add whatever text you wanted, you could design it however you want, you could change the curvature, the angle, the weight. I'm just saying there's a lot to it. This is not over, I'm not gonna give up there. Maybe, maybe nylon could do a better job. I do think it will do a much better job. So that will be part two of sport equipment blade testing. But just a quick reminder that I'm hosting a giveaway. I'm giving away three CR-10S and two TiVo Tornadoes as well as Rick and Morty. So make sure to join that giveaway up here and uh, have an awesome day. Bye.